Hello viewers and we're in the kitchen today. Once more. Once more. <laughs> and this time you'll get to see the pretty chef. Hey. And she's no other than what's her name? Tell her the name. Wow. Yeah, the lighting kind of bad there. Let me see my flash on. B E N Z K I X X S. Okay, so tell them what we're preparing today. Okay, so our menu, ground provisions, salt fish, with some we sauteed in vegetables, and um, some salad on the side with some nice lentil sauce. Okay, so as you can see... Oh, one more thing. Our local juice. Salt fish. Are you ready? What do you say? Our local juice, mango juice, to guide Yeah, more. and we have the mango juice today. That's what type of mangoes? Mango long. Mango long. <laughs> That's Creole though. Yep. So it's long mango. <laughs> long mangoes, we call them mango long. See? Chop up from yesterday. So, let's tell them how we do it, Val. Yes, so we're boiling the saltfish right now, right? Yep. We have to boil the saltfish. So we can extract some of the salt. And yeah. make it easier to clean. Okay, we have to remove the bones also, extract the bones. Okay, so our salt fish is boiling right now. So we'll get back with you. Yep. Shortly. As you can see, we have our dashing. That's dashing, right? Yeah. Yes. We have our dashing. We have our plantain and our banana. Yeah. Some of you all don't know how to clean fig. Jesus. So. <laughs> Yeah, we learn how to clean fig today. Green banana. Do people get green banana up um, in the states? I don't know. Yeah. They get it green. Yeah, they have African stores where you get all those raisins. Ah, uh, so yeah. they have to send that premature for them then. What? The what? They have to send it up premature for them, or they freezing it? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Not too sure. But the banana, no. The banana. No. Because time for it to reach up there, it might get ripe. Mm. Like I told you ladies, this is how you clean up a plant in the slice it up. And you peel. Yeah. Young girls out there. You clean it up after you peel it up. I wanted to show them how to peel that shim because I know they have some girls that cannot peel that shim. Well, on Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Ladies, I come in for y'all. I come in for y'all in the quarantine time there. Yeah. There is the time to learn how to cook some food and thing, you know? Since this one is half ripe, we don't need to peel it because it will just do a mess in the pan. Yep. So, are you just putting this to boil right now? In a while, yes. Yeah. With a little water and salt. So if you not sure what amount of salt put in put there, salt you'll take a little taste, right. you know? Because you know we in the Caribbean, we don't measure anything. We just put when until our ancestors eat us on the shoulder and say, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Solution cooking. Remember that's what my channel is about, local thing. You know, we're not, we're not professional, like, we're professional in what we do, but we're not like trying to make it look like, you know, we high class and stuff. So we have our carrot, cabbage, some lentils, to some make lentils, some sauce. to make some lentil sauce. Yep. Yeah. We're going to use the peas as our sauce. And what you said the cabbage does? It has a huge amount of salt in the saltfish. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it also stretches the saltfish because you know already saltfish after you shred it has nothing yeah so we want something to stretch it yeah that's some that's lentils that's what we call lentils lentils yes you wash it oh you know i never wash the lentils when i really? and you pour the water you pour the water yeah, you, oh, you see i'm learning too you don't know where it came from true you don't know how they package it you know, you don't know if it have corona <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, so we wash the lentils. No wonder when I used to boil my lentils, it's coming out so dirty. Coming out brown. Oh my god. Salt. Is there? Yeah, remember if you want to make sure you put the right amount, you give it a little taste, taste it. See? And but I Val know what thing already. Before I use it so much. What you say? Me. <laughs> yeah, you know that's me too. I, I have a problem with dishes. I'm not lying. So there we have it. Salt fish on one side. Don't laugh at my small stove. Um, ground provision on the other side, and we have the lentils at the back there. Yeah. Yep. So you also everything. You also it from the start. I giving it to you all from the start. Oh yes. Okay. So more cabbage, more carrot. You know. Food cannot be too much, you can always leave it there for next day. So, we ready. Salt fish is done, right? Yes, it is. Just a little boil, not for too long. Okay, like I thought you had 10, to boil 15 that. Minutes. No, no, for like a long 10, time. 15 minutes. Mm. All right, and then you, I always like to open the pipe while I'm draining my water. Yeah, drain out the water from the salt fish. For us, they're not eating meat to check it, so. Put it to soak for a few minutes, like say like 10-15 more minutes, you know, just to cut on some of the salt. We still want some salt because the carrot is sweet, the cabbage is sweet. We have cucumber, tomatoes, and lettuce. Yeah. Our lettuce, they have aged a bit, but they're still good. Mm. We're gonna put everything in the sink to wash. We are about to start with the salad. To go with the um what's the name of the dish our local dish we call it green figs salt fish yeah our local and dish salad. since we're already using carrot and cabbage to stretch our salt fish yeah. we're going to use something else for our salad you'll notice what she did there she, she took off the the old, the old leaves from the cabbage so people that's what we have to go back to in the corona time. What have you all learned from corona? I learned a lot, you know. I'll share it with you all in my videos or on my lives. So basically, you just clean up whatever you're going to use. Nothing too difficult. No, very simple and easy dish. Yeah. You'll see, we're talking about, we don't know what's in there. And you see, which is why you have to clean it individually. Before you'll poison your husband, ladies. You'll have to learn to do these things, ladies, for the husband. You'll learn to husband, Eddie. He doesn't think of that. The young girls out there growing up. Now with the lettuce, you're gonna chop it fine like the carrots or the cabbage. Because you know most Caribbean people do chop them very fine. Because the lettuce True. is watery. After a while you won't notice you have any lettuce in your salad. So we have our tomatoes yes. now there. Everybody should know how to chop up tomatoes by now. Now I like to clean my tomatoes. Some people just leave it with the seed? Yes, but I like to I clean like to it clean up. mine too. Remove the seeds. Yeah. Very soon I'll be adding some stuff to that piece. Okay. So oh yeah, so you let the peas boil up before you before season you season it. it. Yeah, I learned that one. That way, I know that one. You get all the flavor you need from it. It won't boil out. <laughs> True. I went someplace and a and a girl um just put the water, added the um ground provision and just put in the seasoning right away. I was like, no, that's so wrong. Yeah. And you don't know what she did again, Val. What? <laughs> we were cooking dumpling and then we had to add some. Plantain in there. Hey, what time she had the plantain? You know she had the plantain together with the dumpling. What are we, doing? we had to eat the dumpling and leave the plantain. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> leave the plantain to boil. Yes. <laughs> you see, if the plantain was chopped really fine, it would have cooked. Yeah. Because I've done it before. This when I forget to put my plantain in there. So this will help cut out the salt. 
So the other time I went to a girl home and she declared she's going to cook for me. Same dish as we prepare in there. She had that on her side, this on her side, the peas there, chicken there. You know the girl added salt in the peas, salt in the chicken, salt in the ground provision. <laughs> and she still had salt fish. What? Before I, I leave, she even gave me a packet of peanuts, salted peanuts. <laughs> All I can say is fix it, Jesus. See what's going on with the grand provision. Like a girl had say grand provision. I come in for y'all, ladies. I love y'all, y'all know I love y'all, but some of y'all. Just mix it up now. Oh, you have to add to it, Val. Nothing. The salt is giving salt. The salt is giving it salt? So you're not putting some oil in there? No, nothing. Nothing? nothing. Okay. You're good nothing to whatsoever. Unless if you have your own salad dressing. Now, there's this particular salad dressing that I like. Mm. It's Thousand Island. You're of because the salt fish giving it salt. Yeah. So, I always like to add a little bit of salt and oil in oil. it. It thickens the sauce. You yeah. see how watery it is? Yeah. I'll show you how thick it will get. Now, okay. So this is our lentils, it's coming well. You see, we brought it to a boil, and now we're adding seasoning. We add the seasoning. All-purpose seasoning. All-purpose. We add a little bit of curry. A little like bit of curry. You see how thick the sauce is getting already? Yeah, it's already getting thick. Where Matis have tooth, sir? <laughs> I given you all power, but I didn't know. That's just to show you, you know, Ben's kicks. Kicks, <laughs> people, kicks. A little bit of black pepper. Black pepper. I love black pepper, so. Okay. Just a little bit. We make it safe enough for TJ to eat. Yeah. It TJ have to get to. The house. Yes, I. So we have to make it safe enough for you to And just stir it up. Okay, so we're not done yet? Hmm? Yeah, I thought we were done. Is there have things to come? Yeah, we have some food in there. So we have celery, what do you say we have again? Parsley and... Um, Which one is the parsley? Look the parsley. That's the parsley. That's the parsley. The leaves are a bit bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. The and celery is over there. Tea lawyer there. What do you <laughs> yeah. call it? Tea lawyer in English? Chives. Chives. Yes. And look the celery there. Yes. Okay, so it's just cleaning that up. We're cleaning them up. What are we doing now that you say that? up some garlic. That's for the the peas. The peas. The peas. Yeah, oh, that's for the peas. Yeah. Season that up nicely. Yeah. yeah. I don't want some people. They, even at restaurants, they serve you peas with just um, with just salt. Yuck. Oh. Ugh. Oh, so that's the onion for the peas, man. Check it. Yes. Don't be like me and just add all-purpose seasoning <laughs> and done. Alone. That alone, I just add. No, 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 no. All-purpose seasoning is my lifesaver. Celery. Chop up everything to add to the lentils. Yes. There you have it. Chopping up everything. Okay. You take the smell already too? Mm-hmm. Smells nice. Mm-hmm. Add some blue soup to it also. Yeah, that's because of the oil, right? Yes, and the, the, oil the sauce is getting thick already. Add a little more water. You know, let's check on your food. You know, we're not giving you anything to boost your brains. <laughs> and wonder so how do science. I do this? How do I do that? Huh? Rocket science. You check it. I taught myself how to cook. Yeah. At age. Um, how old was I? I was, I was eight when I cooked my first meal. Wow. I got a lot of licks for it, but. You're not getting that again, eh? It's just a lot of bad people to buy. They be beating yeah, me for everything. Like <laughs> but she picked her food. Picked her food licks too. <laughs> she's wondering how an eight year old know how to cook. Uh, what she didn't know, I used to watch her. Every time she cooking, I'm in the kitchen. 
good vibe. That's how I learn a little something by watching my mom. So that one is for the saltfish? Yeah. This one is for the saltfish. Same ingredients for the lentils. Put in a pot, in a separate pot for the saltfish. Yeah, people, so I just care with, you know? Because Valda cooked that in the Val, you know Valda? Because Valencia. Some of you went to school together with her. She's a big chef. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, remember, don't just add the all purpose seasoning like I do. What do you say you have to do this? We have to peel the carrots. We also have to grate it. Huh? Peel the carrots and grate it. Yeah. So when you're peeling the carrots, like on both ends. Not too much, because huh? the more you take off, the less carrot we have. This is me, I put in all that in my hand. No wonder that it be bitter. Yes, when you peel oh, it. Oh dear. There you go, Benz. A light peel, people. Well, let me grab my saltfish, because I have to peel my saltfish. So, you know, she have to clean the saltfish. Remember, you have to clean the saltfish as well. So, I'm just going to lightly peel the carrot like she showed me. Because if it was up to me alone, I just think that like that. Which is disgusting. You get a bitter taste when you do it like that. So, just peel it off, okay? Since we boiled the saltfish earlier, it makes it easier for the scale to come off. And then it makes it easier to debone it. Yeah. You say clean, clean. We don't want to waste saltfish lightly. Mm -hmm. Saltfish is expensive. Just, yeah, you know. Sashi. And that shit is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the saltfish comes with bones. All you do, you lift, you peel out the skin, and then you take off the bone. Because we have a soon to be three year old. He loves when I cook, so I want to make sure that he can eat without any worries. So we have our seasoning. It has oil. It ha you added oil? Yeah. Oh, you added oil, oil and, the and the rest of the local seasoning that we've been using from the start. So nothing too difficult. It is after quarantine, you know, you can prepare something nice for the husband. They can even do it now because they have more time on their hands. Or the sugar daddy. Do it now too for sugar. Trust me, they cook that for sugar daddy down there. Sugar daddy ain't going nowhere. But that you make steam. So we're shredding the saltfish right now. Yes. We're looking for bones as well. Still looking for bones. Yes. Because okay. you won't see everything when the saltfish is boiled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me check on the ground. The <laughs> Look, I say in ground now. The ground provision. Check on it now, you see? The one we didn't peel, you see it's still less solid. So what do you do? Um, it good already, Val? The ground provision good already? It's ready. So how do you know when it's ready? If you want to go take a fork or something, right? You see, I know a little something. I tell you, I know it is. That means it's good. Mm? It's good, man. We're good, good to go. See the dashing? Yeah. We're good to go. So don't let it drown when you turn it off. You have to <laughs> drain the water, right? Drain the water. If you don't drain the water, it will, the food will get watery. And I don't think you it want that. It will drown. <laughs> and you will drown also when you're eating it. So you drain out the water. You open it slightly. So ground provision is good. Lentils is proper. Soon to be ready is uh, saltfish. Yeah, we're Just almost there. Just the carrot to Just the carrot and the cabbage. We're almost add there. Add the cabbage. So we, we just have to grate our cabbage right now and carrot mm. to add to the saltfish. Remember yes. that. Mm. But now, now let me show you a little something. Mm. Check it. A little something. When you have people that knit, she took off her ring, hey, her watch. Everything people all have to be neat. That I like that. You see, like that's why I tell you I cannot eat from just anybody. You see them needing flour with a freaking ring in their hand yeah. and stuff. So you yeah. check it. Problems that they Nobody have to tell you all that. Okay, so y'all didn't miss out on anything. Don't panic, ladies. Don't panic. <laughs> y'all didn't miss out on anything. We just greeting the carrots in right now. But if y'all feel y'all miss out on anything, just go back a little, cause. We have everything recorded from scratch. Yep. 
cabbage in there also. Just chop it up. Don't panic, I tell y'all. <laughs> we had the carrot, now we have some cabbage over it. It doesn't nicely. matter how big it is because when it gets hit, it will it melt. Will shrink, yes. Okay, it will so shrink. The size will go down to nothing at all. Okay, so our seasoning, salt fish, yeah. carrot, cabbage. What's underneath? It's layers of goodness. You see? Whoa. You have your onions, your celery, your parsley, your um, your garlic. I put garlic in there because I like garlic. Mm -hmm. You have your salt garlic, fish, though. then you have your carrot, your cabbage. Yeah. Okay. With oil. With some oil? Yes. Okay. So yeah, there we have it. Just light it up. Doesn't matter how high you put it. Since we are wrong, we put it high so we can check on it. But if you're not wrong, you know. Put it low. We have enough salt fish for the salad. Okay, good vibe. Smell that already, Benz? Mm-hmm. My viewers can smell it too. You're smelling <laughs> it, my viewers. By the time we're done, we have half a pan. <laughs> they can have asthma, yeah? they can take this smell. <laughs> People, I have the antidote there for the corona. Remember, I was telling you all the last time on the live. There you have it. Now we have the alcohol soaking in it. Check it. We're going to add a little, not a little, we're going to add honey in that so much. Honey and, uh, yeah, that's it. Just honey for now because it already have the wasin and thing. The roots. Ready for the juice? Yeah. Yeah, so we have the... Most exciting part. Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> juice. Well, I don't know. What other local juice do you have in? I had some there already, you know. Yeah. But Valun always top it up. We have our chopped mangoes right there. Yeah. Try your finger again to see. That's um for <laughs> to pour the juice in, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we have our blender. So we pour our water. And our glue sit in. Okay. Spring water are there. Pour your water. You know that's about the amount I pour. So since we wash, chop and bag, we're going to start. <laughs> Put the blender on first. Ah, okay. Wow, I never thought of that because remember my thing always sticking. Yeah. Yeah, you turn on the blender first and then pour it in. <laughs> from the I learned how to blend the right way. Oh, you were right. Check how it shrink already. Yeah. It was to the brim, remember? Mm -hmm. Wow. But it's not ready yet, right? No. It's not ready. I know you don't want to taste anyway. I do? I know you want to taste. I'm a professional <laughs> tester. People are professional tasters. Just a little bit hard. Huh? Just a little bit. A little bit See how it get already from uh, this to this. Shrimpy. Ooh. I have my degree in tasting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready. Do you want to taste too? Yeah. Mm. How are you tasting, boy? Salt. Delicious. Mm. Right amount of salt? Just the right, right amount of salt. Mm -hmm. Just perfect. You also saw the whole process, people, now. Followed by last cell. Don't load it with salt. No salt until yeah. when you're done and you're ready mm -hmm. to test. You realize it has none. Then you add a little. No salt. You load it. Okay, my viewers. There you have it. Drone provisions been ready from times and look at this. Whoa! I shouldn't allow to put the food on the plate too. 
Yes, some of you can put the food on the plate. You're leaving the food hole for them, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. There you have it. There you have it. Oh, you see? Ben, you could have that one. Is there already? I could have that one. And they're even hungry. <laughs> our ground provision, our green fig, planting and dashing, well sliced up, our lentils, and our salad. How you call it again, Val? The salad. Toss salad. Oh, let's not forget the salt fish. Because... Yummy. And we have the juice and standby. Mm -hmm. Have our eyes there.